Battlestar Galactica. The name alone conjures up images of chrome robots, cool looking spaceships and a ragtag fleet of humans trying to find the lost 13th colony called Earth. Yet among all the sequels, reboots and remakes, there was one spin-off series which even Galactica purists bypassed. Why? Because it didn't feature any Vipers at all, let alone a single Battlestar, despite it being a critical part of the overall Galactica continuity. Yes, we're talking about one of the most overlooked sci-fi TV series ever produced for a much-loved franchise, Caprica. The original Battlestar Galactica was created by famous TV magnate Glenn A. Larson, which first launched in 1978. Even though the series was a great success spawning a large and highly devoted fan base, unfortunately the show was prohibitively expensive to produce and as a consequence only ran for one season. In the meantime, the series pilot episode, Saga of a Star World, was released as a cinematic feature film simply called Battlestar Galactica to cash in on the success of Star Wars. With this winning formula in hand, the film was quickly followed by a sequel called Mission Galactica The Cylon Attack which was created by editing the TV episodes The Living Legend, The Living Legend Part 2, Fire in Space, and a segment from The Hand of God together. After acknowledging the Battlestar property was still in high demand, Universal Television realised the show needed to return, albeit in a much cheaper form, and as a result the poorly received Galactica 1980 was produced, with the pilot episode once again being released as a feature film called Conquest of the Earth. From here, the franchise fell into obscurity, despite actor Richard Hatch's ongoing and ultimately unsuccessful attempt to revive it in the 1990s. Finally, NBC decided to remake the series in 2003 with a number of significant changes and updates, namely the transition of some male characters to female and a much darker and adult tone. Although it struggled to initially find acceptance with traditional Galactica fans, the all-new Battlestar Galactica, or BSG as it became known, was not only a massive success both commercially and critically, but it also spawned a number of TV films as well as other spin-off shows. However, amongst this sudden demand for new Galactica material, there was one series released in 2009 which struggled to find traction with both the old and new Galactica fanbase. Yet somewhat ironically, this series could be considered one of the most pivotal aspects of the entire franchise because unlike any of the shows or movies surrounding it, Caprica was a prequel story named after the central world of the Twelve Colonies. Yet this series wasn't just any prequel, because it was here we not only learned the true origin of the Cylons, as well as understanding why their religion only followed one god, but we also learned how they found their independence from humanity. From a production perspective, Caprica took all the core aspects of the new Galactica series and headed in a totally different direction. Set 58 years before both the classic and reboot series, the 12 colonies exist in a manner which, in essence, symbolise various countries in our world with unique languages, customs, fashion and economic status. Whilst at the centre of it all is the planet Caprica, which is not only the richest planet in the system, but is also the centre of art, culture and government. Yet amongst all the luxury, wealth and apathetic lifestyle of its citizens are two facets of dissent which are beginning to take hold. The first is the emergence and growth of V-World, a virtual reality environment where people can and will do anything they wish to escape the mundane existence and pressures of their normal lives. The second is far more sinister, being the growth of the extreme monotheist movement called the Soldiers of the One who believe that there is only one god which is in direct conflict with the colony's wider belief and Battlestar Galactica as a whole of the polytheist existence of multiple gods, i.e. the Lords of Kobol. But what makes Caprica stand on its own, which conversely tends to alienate it from the wider Battlestar franchise, is its real-world setting, production design, influences and concepts. In this series, spaceflight rarely occurs, whilst their technology closely emulates our world with cars and trains, as well as real sports such as tennis. In addition, dark and extremely violent aspects which are prevalent in our world also exist, such as crime syndicates, gangland murders, racial prejudice and terrorism which some fans consider to be very ungalactica-like. As a byproduct of this dramatic direction, the series is effectively a quantum leap from the wholesome purity of the original 70s production, where the planet Caprica was presented as a global utopia. 
Yet what is most important about the Caprica series, and the most crucial aspect for Galactica fans, is the development of the all-new and revolutionary cybernetic lifeform node, otherwise known as the Cylon. Originally designed for military application, the Cylon project is being driven by Greystone Industries, as the government contract for its development is highly lucrative. However, questions begin to arise regarding the emergence of a Cylon AI, and whether it would have sentient rights within society. In effect, the series asks the moral and ethical question of at what point is the creator no longer submissive and subservient to the creator, which is extremely relevant today what with the emergence and growth of artificial intelligence in our world. A second and equally important subplot for the series revolves around the Soldiers of the One, a radical group who support the absurd notion of monotheism, which is the belief in one god. Somewhat poetically, this highly engaging storyline mirrors the opposite notion in our world regarding the existence of God. Or to look at it another way, if there was a religious movement in our world who believed in the existence of multiple gods, how would they be looked upon by society? Moreover, what lengths would they go to to convince the rest of us non-believers? The third key aspect of Caprica is the depiction of V-World, which is a fully immersive virtual reality environment where the depravity of humanity is on full display for all to see. This is not only a logical and natural extension of current online gaming technology, but will eventually become a reality in our world, whereby an escapist outlet will impact both society and individuals who quickly become addicted to it. Make no mistake, Caprica is a hard-hitting and violent series which adds significant weight to the entire Battlestar Galactica narrative even though you hardly ever see a spaceship. However, for those fans who simply want to experience the escapist 70s fun of Captain Apollo flying his Viper whilst trading jibes with the rogue Starbuck, it's understandable why they would bypass it, much to their loss.